Good morning, my name is Reverend Mrs. Shallow Tudro, and this is your devotion. If you have not prayed this morning, let's pray. Our Lord and Master, we bless you. We are grateful for the life you've given unto us. We are thankful. We are thankful for the breath you've given unto us. We are grateful for us seeing this day. It tells us that you are God and your grace has been sufficient for us. We say thank you for our lives. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our loved ones. We are grateful. We say today, under our steps, usher our steps, lead us, O oh God. Teach us and walk with with us. Let your angels guide us against every trap of the enemy. Let their plans and their thought against us be crushed in the name of Jesus. But let your will be done in our lives. And at the end, your name alone shall be lifted up in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. If you have not prayed this morning, thank God you have life today. Let's do this prayer together. And God will continue to protect you. Let me tell you this. Jesus is available. Jesus is alive. Jesus is with you. If only you can trust him. If only you can hope. If only you can hold on to him. If only you can trust him. He said, eh, 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 yet do we walk through the valleys of the shadow of death. It means that the doctors may declare your end has come. Yes, and you agree because what you feel in your system tells you that is your end. Sometimes uh, you, you, you feel it so bad to the extent that you know you can't see tomorrow. But let me tell you, God is not done with you yet. And when God is not done with you, not even sickness can take you out from the hands of God. Do you know why? Because he has got the whole world in his hands. He has got the healing power. He has got the strength to turn things around. You see, within a twinkling of an eye, God can change your life and change your destiny. But one thing I love about God is that he said, they that wait upon him. He said, sometimes waiting becomes a problem. People don't have the patience to wait. People can't stand the pressure of waiting. But I've come to realize something with Christ. If you know how to wait, you know how to get the best things. If you know how to wait upon him and not allow the storms that comes your way to make you rush away from God, I am telling you what God gives to you is permanent and nobody can take it from you. So you know what? Wait a while. Suffer a little because suffering is part of Christianity. And somebody tells you if you serve God, you're going to have it easy. The person is lying to you. But it becomes easy because he's taking a joke. It becomes easy because you know there, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It becomes easy because there is a joy, there is a confidence you know that no matter how darkness you go through, there will always be a morning. This one, let me tell you, your darkness will be over soon. You may not see the light in your darkness. There is no hope in your darkness. There's too much darkness around you. So you feel, I can't see the light and there is no hope. You can't see the light even closer. Even far, you can't see it. You don't need to see the light far or closer because inside you, there is the light. And the light will shine at the right time. He's a God that makes a way when nobody thinks there can be a way. He's a God that when the doctor says, your womb cannot conceive a child, he still says that, I believe in what the doctor said because that's what they have seen. But I also have another thing to say. He said, once has the Lord spoken, twice have I heard that power belongs to him. Believe in the power of God. Believe in the name of the Lord. Trust in the name of the Lord. Don't allow your situation to change God in your life. Hold on to God. Trust him. Don't ever give up. It may look so bad, but don't you give up. Because he's with you. And what he has promised he will do it. Thank you so much. If you know you don't know Christ, you know where you've got into it, that's your, your end. This is opportunity time for you to run to Jesus. At the feet of Jesus, there is salvation. So do it with me if you want to give your life to Jesus. Say, Father, I surrender to you. I give my life to you today. I take you as my Lord and personal Savior. Dwell in me. Use me. Father, I give myself my will my interest, my desire into your feet and into your hands. That I always want to be in your presence. That your presence will overshadow. That your power will take over. That the evil seed of the enemy will be uprooted. And you will plant your seed of goodness in me. And let your will be done in my life. For if I die, I die for you. And if I live, I am yours. Because from today, you are my Lord and personal Savior. Amen. If you have said this, you are blessed and highly favored. Remember this. Every Thursday, I'm live on Facebook. The Real Woman in Me official page on Facebook. Follow me every Thursday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And let's talk about marriage. 
I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Good morning, and may the Lord bless you. Don't forget.